With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, this is our question. Let me explain it to you. Hydrogen atom is exposed to electromagnetic radiation of lambda 1025.6 angstrom. An excited atom gives out induced radiation. What is the minimum wavelength of the induced radiation? Right. So we would be using the expression of energy first of all here that is equal to Hc upon lambda. Now we know that Hc is a constant over here. H is representing the Planck's constant and C is the velocity of light. Okay, and we know the value if we talk about electron volt nanometer, the value for Hc is 1240 electron volt nanometers. Okay. And then the wavelength we have to take in denominator, which is already given in the question 1025.6 angstrom. So to convert angstrom into the same unit, what we would be doing, we will multiply it by 10 to minus 10 to do in meters. Okay, so this will now become from angstroms to meters. Now further to change it to nanometer, we will multiply it into 10 raised to power 9, right? So from here, the value of delta E comes out to be 12.09 electron volt. Okay, but what is asked in the question, minimum wavelength of the induced radiation. Okay, so this is the induced radiation. Now in three different radiations, what will be the minimum wavelength we have to see for the hydrogen atom. Okay, so this is how if we have a look at the energy levels, they will look something like this. First energy level second and third okay so the first possible transition can happen from third to the first level right another possible case is the transition from second to first level and then from third to second so in these three different radiation minimum wavelength will be there in the case of transition from third energy level to second energy level okay so we can calculate it using the same expression wavelength for third to second transition we would be having over here okay that will be equal to hc upon delta e hc again we will put the value 1240 electron volt mm nm nanometers and delta E we just calculated is 12.09 electron volt. Okay, from here wavelength comes out to be 102.6 nanometers. Okay, so we can simply take this as the answer. Option number A is matching up. So this is the answer. Okay, thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.